Now to our GMA cover story. Gal Godot is holding her ground this morning after Hollywood director Joss Whedon denied allegations that he mistreated her on the Justice League film set back in 2017. Whedon spoke out in a New York Magazine interview. Zareen Shah has the details. Good morning, Zareen. Hey, good morning, George. The actress who played Wonder Woman is in a war of words with one of Hollywood's biggest directors. She said he threatened her job. He responded saying English is not her first language, leaving it up to fans to interpret what happened. I belong to no one. This morning, Wonder Woman star Gal Gadot standing up for herself. In a new article for New York Magazine, the famed director of hits like The Avengers and the creator of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Joss Whedon, now on defense, that he threatened Godot's career while filming the 2017 film Justice League. Godot telling the Israeli news outlet N12 last year, quote, I had my issues with Joss and I handled it. He threatened my career and said that if I do something, he will make sure my career is miserable. When these stories start to come out, it makes people feel that they've been betrayed. And, you know, he's, of course, responsible for his behavior. Now, more than eight months later, Whedon speaking out for the first time about Godot's allegations, telling New York Magazine, I don't threaten people. Who does that? English is not her first language, and I tend to be annoyingly flowery in my speech. Adding that he was joking with Godot in response to her wanting to cut a scene from the movie, saying that she would have to tie him to a railroad track and do it over his dead body. Godot telling the magazine in an email, I understood perfectly. <clears throat> Whedon, famed for working on projects with strong female characters, also answering to accusations of misogyny and abusive behavior. It began really when his ex-wife came forward and, you know, called him a hypocrite preaching feminist ideals. There are, I think, clearly patterns that emerge when you look at the stories side by side. Whedon admitting to the magazine he slept with employees, fans, and colleagues while working on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which eventually led to his marriage ending. Whedon now telling the magazine's reporter, Lila Shapiro, that he's been in therapy for years and even checked into an addiction treatment center for a month. So I think it's like it opens up a space about, you know, how, how power plays out in these spaces and how it can make people feel. And ultimately, like, how damaging it is um, for these directors to be worshipped. You know, it's not good for them and it's not good for anyone around them. Both camps declined to comment, but Shapiro says she spoke to Whedon and people who worked for him for months. And while a clear pattern emerged, it is a complicated story. And that entire article is worth a read. Guys. Okay, Zareen, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.